Hey guys, this is uh, Life on the Farm. Um, I was just showing my, I was going to do an update on the mushroom logs. Um, so I did these logs, I cut them, did them early spring, and inoculated them. And now it is fall, and winter is coming, so. Um, see, a lot of leaves are... I'd say about half of them are down. I'm, some trees have all of them down, like that one. Uh, they're probably getting real close, actually, to for everyone to fall. But um, I'm right here. These are the pheasants over here. Jungle fowl. And uh, but these logs, I took them in, put them in that trough over there, so I can see it. And I soaked them. You can right before winter, just get them a good soaking. They all seemed like they still had a good amount of water in them, so I'm, I was a little worried they'd be dried out, too dry or something, but they seem fine. And I've been seeing some good signs on them too, so a couple of things. Um, this is what I, I was experimenting with different ways of stacking and stuff, and letting them grow. This was the blue oysters. Um, I just did the kind of traditional log cabin style with the... Uh, Stacking like that, kind of spaced apart. Those are the Namikos. Um, <clears throat> I heard that they grow good when they're flat like that, just on the ground. Keeps a lot of moisture in there too, but it can get bugs and uh, other spores in there maybe. But um, these are the shiitakes. Um, I stack these ones closer together. Uh, and, and these are the lion's mane. I see some people grow them like this mushroom logs like this they stick them a foot down in the ground keeps a lot of moisture in them and then let the another couple feet come out so uh, I got them about foot down in the ground and they're four foot logs so um, but the signs that I'm seeing I was just looking at them oh uh, the one last thing was this log I just did well I also did stumps but this log I just threw a couple in it or a couple spawn plugs in it for uh, for fun I did a couple extras to see I think I threw lion's mane but I was looking at it and uh, right there it looks like oyster I'm not gonna eat them um, but I thought I threw lion's mane in there who knows I also see some white on it I don't know if that's from other I hardly threw any spores in here, so, and it was a drier log, but on this side, see some white, um, that could be mycelium, or it could just be a different type of mushroom growing, and then on the bottom, that looks like some good mycelium, really spreading, but, I don't know, I'll see, peel the bark, um, looks like there's a little bit, but on these logs, so the oyster, blue cold oyster, um, I see a little right there, little one. I'm, I hope, I hope there's not like a, I hope they usually wait till spring. They say it takes uh, six to nine months or something like that for them to usually produce. So, or no, maybe it was like nine to twelve, I don't know. But, uh, depending on the log size. So I think my line should be fully ready in spring. Maybe not this giant one. That's, that's over six inches. That's probably eight. Um, yeah. And the rest are, um, sometimes a little smaller than six. But that's what I had. Some are six. So that's some signs on this oyster. There's some more mycelium spreading um you can usually look at the end and look that's that's just wax but i've been seeing some on some of the logs and i've been seeing a little tv mushrooms so um the namikos this was an experimental log um it looks like it's got some good growth on it but it's little so that's probably why it spread fast um that also was experimental because it's so thin um but i see the plugs are really well, I'm showing the mycelium there. It's all white. And that's what 
and I don't think I've seen any. Actually, I've been seeing a little bit of growth on the Namikos. I don't know if I put it face down, but not too much. But it seems like they're doing good too. Shiitake. Um, I've been seeing all these little guys. Get this focus in. I don't know if that's a uh, shiitake mushroom. It looks like the right color, but I don't know. It looks like too many. Like, I haven't really seen them grow like that. It looks kind of weird. But maybe it is. There's a whole bunch of different little things growing. I have a feeling that some of these logs might have outside, uh, outside spores and stuff got into them. So some might be done, but I'll see. This is my first year, first time growing mushrooms. So I'm going to be learning a lot. But, uh, see all that? I don't know if that's shiitake or what. I'll find out in the spring probably. So, um, Lion's Mane, they seem like they're doing pretty much the best. Um, there, I did a lot. I did the Lion's Mane with bigger logs than most of them. I usually put the bait, the bigger end down in the ground, except for that one. And, uh, they just seem like they're doing good. Because the bigger logs hold moisture, it'll last longer. Um, but, down here, um, I see my psyllium right there. Coming out, it's probably decomposing the logs slowly. Um, it's probably, I don't see much on the ends, but... I see some around like that. Actually, the oysters are doing pretty good too. Those are the two best. But this guy, so I don't know who it is. It's one of these. Oh uh, yeah, right there. That right there is obviously a lion's mane mushroom. There's no lookalikes. Um, it's real little, but that's pretty cool see that that's a good sign and I saw a little one on another one so I know it's kind of getting I don't know if there's a I don't know if there's a plug under there or what but it, if it just came up in the middle that's pretty good because the other one came up kind of on the plug so um I'll be making another video in spring let you guys know what's going on and um, hopefully I'm sure I'll get at least a couple mushrooms um, from some kind and uh, maybe buy more mushrooms and do it again so I can continue the cycle. Alright, thanks for watching. There's uh, other parts of this video so you can go to my channel and find them, um, the beginning and stuff. Alright, thanks. Bye.